The boss from Dina with the brand new head coach and technical director of the El Paso Locomotive FC, Brian Clairhop. Coach, congratulations. Welcome to the city. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me, Mondo. It's a very exciting uh, times to be here. Uh, first of all, let's talk about what attracted you to come to El Paso. Uh, like I said, I'm a, I'm a football coach. I saw how these guys played uh, last year. It was up my alley, up my philosophy. Um, and then I got to learn a bit more about the ownership group and a little bit about the club and that kind of all kind of formed together and I said you know what this is a good fit for me this is this is a place where I can be successful this is a place where the club can be successful and this is a place ultimately where the city can be successful in the sport of soccer. What type of players are you going to be bringing into the club this year? I think similar profiles you know that we, we got to look at uh, what we're what we're missing where we need to improve um, like Andrew said in the press conference, the roster's gotten extremely uh, younger. Um, I think this is a young man's game now. It's getting faster. It's getting quicker. So that's always an area that I look at personally. Okay, what's this guy's pace at? Are we are we pacey enough in the back? Do we have enough juice going forward? Um, so that that will be a, a significant factor uh, moving forward under me. Talk about some of the veterans you have on the squad. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we start first and foremost with Yuma, right? Uh, soul of the uh, of the organization of, of locomotive, uh, spiritual leader, um, great for the fans, and a great footballer, uh, great great distributor of the ball, good in build up, absolute warrior. Uh, I haven't met him yet, but I'm looking forward to to meeting him. You got Lucho up top, um, who's been very successful played in Sweden a bit and his past career has been all over the place, natural goal scorer. Uh, we got Borelli at, on the left hand side so I think we have a pretty good core of older older guys that have been in this league, um, that have played together um, that will be vital for setting the culture and, and setting that locker room. You talk about the culture the one thing that El Paso has they've had success in mm. the first couple of years so yep. that means they got a tremendous fan base there a couple in particular you'll learn they're called the 8 notch, they're kind of crazy so oh, yeah. you're going going to love meeting them. I'm telling you right now, you're going to love this. So what is your message to the fans of the Locomotive FC? Yeah, I said it before to, to you. Uh, we're going to put on a, a brand and a, and a style and a, and a work rate for, for these guys to be proud of. They shouldn't be coming out in 90, 90 minutes, coming out of, coming out of the, the pitch, coming out of the game, being like, you know what, these guys didn't put in a shift. Um, we're going to put in a shift. We're going to give them something to be proud of. Um, and we're, and we're going to make this place a place to be reckoned with when teams come. You know, we're going to roll up the sleeves. We can be a little bit blue collar as well, even though we had 60 percent possession. We play pretty football, but, you know, we, we're going to our football is going to represent the city a bit. Well, coach, nothing but luck. Thank you so much for joining us. Lot. Thank you. Good luck Appreciate to the season. It. Thanks a lot.